So I'm in the middle of nowhere right now, guys. I'm pretty inland. This is pretty much like country California. I just pulled up on this abandoned house to skate a backyard pool, but there was a bunch of um, people that were living up there. A couple people in trailers and stuff. So I rolled up and I asked them if there was a backyard pool to skate. And they said, yeah, there is. And I said, do you mind if I skate it? And they said, if you've got cold beer. And obviously I don't drink or anything. So I just come down to this little store here in the middle of nowhere. And I bought some Coors Light and some Modelo's and stuff for these guys. I'm gonna head back now, give them the beer, then hopefully they're gonna let me skate the pool. Just to give you guys a quick look at where I am right now, I'm, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty inland. Just in the middle of nowhere out here in California. Southern California, I should say. But yeah, this is, um, this is what I'm rolling up on right now, guys. Pretty sketchy, coming here by myself. But I uh, really wanna skate this pool. Like this, and I'll get the wood. Yeah, yeah. Teamwork. Mm-hmm. Makes the dream work. That's it. You're from Australia, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Just trying to get some push, yeah. Oh yeah, I would do shit so all the homies would get home. That's it. What engines they put in those can engines? Huh? What engines they put in those? A uh, 1000 turbo. I go for a ride hey, No, 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 I can't, I can't. I do, yeah. It's like you're getting on the back yeah. of my bike. Yeah. Right. When we're done talking, you're gonna f in your mind when we're driving back, you're gonna go, what the f in ourselves? <laughs> you know exactly, that's what I'm worried about. It's all right, it'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> around this light today before I have to leave because uh, it's getting a bit dark out here getting a bit hungry so I really want to get a front side carve over this light here before I go that'd be sick I hit the uh, coping right here and took a bit of tile off with me so I got to aim to get in between here and out
kind of got through the light before, not over it, but my back wheel, my heel side back wheel kind of went through it. So I really want to get both wheels up and over so I can count it. So I gotta keep trying. When skating pools like this, it's really important to know where your weight is and what line to pick. Like I screwed up a couple times there because my lines and weight weren't correct. Anyone that skates transition or pools or bowls often, they're gonna tell you that when you're riding, like especially like a pool pool, you have to like charge it and like really just push to get through. There's no half assing it. Like you have to commit 100% and just charge as hard as you can. As scary as that sounds. Definitely using this bit of plywood here with this tabletop to get a nice drop in to be able to get enough speed to pump around and hopefully get over that light. So I want to be able to get over this light here and I'm going to be happy. out of here really shortly it's gonna take some photos of the pool and then dip out <laughs> Australia pools like skating a pool is like such a rarity um, I've never skated a pool in Australia I've only skated like the bowls slash pools that they put in at skate parks but not like a pool pool so it's just yeah it's awesome to be out here to be able to skate these backyard pools literally you've got the house here you've got this pool and then you've just got mountains and fields and tracks and it's just quiet so sick so as you can see the main house up here that's next to the pool is quite run down and uh, bombed up. I'm not going to go in there because I think all that stuff is asbestos. This house looks like it's from the 70s or 80s judging by those arches in the walkway there. So I'm not going to go in because I don't want to get asbestos poisoning. My assumption is this is how the nude bowl kind of began. So there would have been a property with a house and stuff. Over years the house just would have got kind of eaten up by the elements, the wind, the sun, California, and uh, just left to rot to eventually being knocked down or just people pulling it down. So I'd imagine this property here would be similar, like in another 10, 15 years, all this would be like torn down. The pool might still be here. This could be like a mini nude bowl, kind of not really the nude bowl, but you know what I'm talking about. Like this could turn into another kind of spot if it's here for long enough, if people come and skate this pool. Probably gonna head home real shortly. Got the front side carve over the light, happy. Had a fun time skating this pool. Had a good day actually. Like I left the house and I was just like, I'll go and suss out this pool, see what's up. And then, uh, yeah, ended up having a really good time. Haven't done an outro in a minute guys. It's been a while since I sat down and did an outro and spoke to you guys. Had a really good day skating that pool. Like, as I said, I kind of left the house and I hit traffic and I was already over it. I was so unmotivated to go out that day. Like I hit traffic and I was like, is this even worth going out to? Like I was pretty bummed that day and I was like, should I just turn around and go home and sit in the lounge? But then I was like, no, I'm gonna try to make the most out of my day. Try to get out of the house, go and skate. And it ended up being a pretty rad day. Met some pretty cool people. Got to skate that pool. Got to ride in that Polaris, which was sick. So I definitely landed on my feet that day. Just goes to show you can be having like a, a bummed out day. Not want to do anything. Have no energy. Have no motivation. And if you just kind of push through that and then still go out and try to make the most of it. You know, there's a big percentage there that your day's going to turn around and end up being good. But we all get those days where we just want to sit in the lounge and do nothing. But anyway, if you guys haven't checked out the last Evening Mob drop, I encourage you to head over to the website and check it out. EveningMob.com. We've got some t-shirts made. Um, I have a handful of sizes left, so make sure you go snag one up before they're all gone. Shouts out to all the day ones and all the new subscribers. But until next time, guys. 
Thank you again, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.